exploring together. Only shooting stars break the Hello everybody and welcome to Brawl Stars! I'm Amy the Amazonian and today I'm playing with an uncommon commander from the Lost Caverns of Ixland. It's Nikonzil, Current Conductor. This card is an explore card, but it itself actually doesn't explore, which means that we're playing the best cards that either explore or cause creatures to explore in this deck. And also a lot of other good Simic stuff, some landfall things, and a little bit of scales. And if you're wondering why, why, and why, because whenever another creature you control, or any creature, including Nick and Zill, explores, if they reveal a land on top, it goes into your hand and you have the choice of putting it into the battlefield tapped. Awesome. That's a little bit of extra ramp. And if you reveal a non-land on top, Nick and Zale also gets a plus one, plus one counter. This is a two mana commander, so really don't expect that much from it. A lot of the other stuff in this deck, though, is pretty sweet. And this deck does have the potential to go off. But it's a lot harder to set up than you might expect. Because there's not that many explorers, and there's especially not that many repeatable explorers, we rely a lot on the landfall elements, specifically things that landfall and can give us additional like mana floating, like Lotus Cobra, or um, where's my Nissa, Nissa Resurgent Animus, or in the form of Treasures with Tireless Provisioner. So we have the lands coming and tapped off the Explorer. That gives us mana. What do we do with that mana? Well, we cast creatures, and we've got lots of creatures. So we cast them. This deck is predominantly creatures. And when we're casting them, we either draw a card off Beast Whisper, Great Henge, or I think we also have right there, Guardian Project. So you're casting cards, drawing cards, hopefully exploring because you're having things enter the battlefield with Path of Discovery. There's a lot of moving parts here, but it does have the potential to give you a giant army with plus one plus one counters, tons of lands into play, and you're drawing cards all at the same time. We also just have some good stuff in Simic and a couple pieces of ramp payoff because we're in Simic. You know, we got to take advantage of what we got and what we've got is green and blue. So there's a couple counter spells in there and some fantastic new cards like Jade Light Spelunker. Yeah, that's right. This thing is a Hydra that's in fish form. So we're going to take Nikonzil into the queue and we're gonna go swimming for lands. Just saw Sun's Avatar. Dinosaur that brings more dinosaurs with him whenever he's swinging in and hidden face. Uh, I think that now that we have Pent Laza in Arena, it's kind of hard to say like Jasoth is the better Dino, because I feel like Pentlaws is just so much more consistent, so much easier to get out, and has much more guaranteed value. But, you know, the oldies are still goodies, and dinos are an even better creature type. Now that we have so many new dinos in Arena, speaking of which, we got some old dinos too, like Wayward Swordtooth, here to help me put extra lands into play if we happen to find them on Explore. That is a Stampede, that's going to give a double discount to their dinosaurs. The double discount dinos. I don't have any explorers here. This is an explorer, but I need another land for it. We we'll bring out the Kami of Whispered Hopes. This is a scales effect. And Registrar Alpha gives other dinosaurs haste, but not itself. Uh oh, are they gonna fight? No, they're gonna bolt! Hi, Nikonzil. Uh, Nikonzil is as far as like commanders go. Very killable. Doesn't need to stay alivable. It's just fineable. Thinking about doing the tracker first. Nah, here comes the Deep Fathom Echo. Echo effect! Um. No, I'm good. I'm not, I'm not putting counters on anything. You could make a very cute copy of the Kami of Whispered Hopes next turn. Lonnie's Hatcher similarly gives other dinosaurs haste. So this is giving this haste and this is giving this haste. At least we have a 4-4 four, four out to block the 3-3s. Three Still gonna take a bunch of damage. Old versus new. Hmm. Do, 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 do. 
trying to decide if I want to uh, get that Nikanzilla at all. I think so. I think what we're going to do is play the land, explore, go to combat, have this become a copy of the copy of the Kami. No attacks. We're going to bring out the Orn Reef Ooze. This is three mana. Putting the counters onto the original, actual Kami of Whispered Hopes. It becomes a 4-4, four, four, which means it taps for four mana, which means that we can cast Overloaded, Cyclonic Rift, and bounce all of their cards back into their hand. Complicated sequence! Keeps me alive! Oh god, that's gonna be getting a new- Oh! At least I get to keep some of my counters, right? Scoot! Two scoot. Dinosaur. Can't just be the only dino in town. We do have the city's blessing. I've got an 8-8. Eight, eight. Something that can block some of those hasty dinos. Who scoots too furious? Yeah, we're just little guys. They did get rid of my, like, repeatable explorer. By the way, I do think that um, the alchemy cards for uh, this set will probably include some stuff for uh, explore. I just have a, have a feeling. Nick and Zeal. Ouch! They do have some hasty stuff, so I should probably keep that back, but also I really want to hit their face. But the hasty stuff could kill me. Okay, I'll, I'll wait here. You want to play that Tyrannix Rex? Maybe just saw? If they play the Tyrannix Rex, I think we just double block. It's the Rex! They're gonna wreck them. I will offer my dinosaur and commander for a trade. They killed the dinosaur, which means we can move the counters onto the Ozolith. There's just a little special snack for later. I'm gonna bring out Uro. Not gonna play the landfall things yet, because I can always play the land from hand. It is a land. We decline. Play this. We got the land, and we have enough. We're gonna go for Uro. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll beef up... Uro. Yeah. Chunky Uro. Having a 9-9 against something that's a 7-6 that wants to trample, hit your face to get free dinosaurs? I think it's the right move. Altasaur means that dinos don't take much damage. Some of these dinos have haste. Okay. This is not a land. But it can turn into lands. Kami of Bamboo Groves are going to get some lands here. Uh, Tireless Tracker gets me card draw. Evolution Sage gets me everything. Scoot, 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 scoot. Yes. 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 More, more, more! Attack! More! Wait, actually, blue. <laughs> but, like, actually, blue. <laughs> Um, more. More, please. Thank you. Um, hmm. I'm going to turn the hatcher sideways. So they can still easily block this because it prevents all but one damage. No! You're... It died. If they blocked here, it wouldn't have died. I'll pay one life to put, put some protection onto... Evolution. No. Onto Uro. Excuse me. Thank you. So the Lodestone Needle, by the way, is one of the few repeatable explore tools. This is an uncommon from Lost Caverns of Ixalan. It has to craft with an artifact, which means we either need an artifact in our graveyard or on our battlefield that we can sacrifice. But it's still pretty sweet and can get us some good value. Ooh, Virgin Sun's Avatar. That gains a lot of life. Thankfully, I have chump blockers. This is based on per source. So I can triple block this to take it out. Boop, boop, boop. I got scoots to spare. I certainly don't mind. Ooh, provisioner and tracker. 
We're in Landfall Town now, and this will give me some good craftables. So, ba 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 ba, do 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 do. Uh, treasure. Fantastic. Yeah, proliferate the stun counters. Oh, that's. I totally, totally remembered I could do that. And we're gonna actually use our commander here to explore. Uh, who wants to go on an adventure? Nikonzil, you can go on an adventure. A halfling? Put it in the trash. Uro swings in. Uro does Uro things. Uro finds a actual factual counter spell. This person just does not want to block. They have a temple Altasaur. Like if they block with this, it's it's not killing it. Hi, just saw. I guess they're like, I'm gaining so much life, I don't even care. I'll take the hit from the twelve twelve. I'll concede the game. Dang straight, you'll concede the game. I have an army of scoop bugs. GG. Snapdax, apex of the hunt. Snapdax is a mutating commander who... I'm not actually sure what their theme is. Sometimes I see Snapdax and it's actually a Mardu vampires commander. So when I say this could be anything, I mean, it could be anything. On mutate, and it has to mutate onto a non-human, so vampires are fine for that. You deal damage, gain life. You also give double strike to whatever it is, which is generically quite good. But I really don't know what their deck's going to be. Could be anything. It could even be a boat? No, we're the one who's got the schooner. Schooner helps us explore, go deep into our deck, and locate all sorts of treasures. Oh, it's a vampire's deck. Do you ever feel like you know Magic the Gathering so well and it's kind of silly how well you know it? Because you can do things like say, oh, you know, snap decks. Of course that's going to be checking notes. Mardu vampires. Of course. Well, we got to explore there. Thank you, boat. Uh, she crewed the boat. The boat made her explore. Ooh, Drana! More vampires. Since she found a land, we got to put an extra land into play. Who wants to explore this time? This dinosaur might want to explore. I should have been more careful with tapping. Ah, who needs it? You've got a hunkering for spelunkering? Move my commander to the command zone? Sure. Aw, coma on top. That's just a good card. I'll beef up the boat, too. Spelunking, I think, would be a fine deck uh, card for this deck, since it would make your lands come in untapped. I just didn't happen to include it. Buffy McBoatface. When the first strike hits, they're going to get plus one, plus one counters on all their attacking creatures. And let the buffeting commence! Oop. This party. Coma goes on an adventure. Do I want the Ozolith? I kinda want the Ozolith. Do I really want the Ozolith? I don't need the Ozolith. They're down to six. We get a coil. We're still holding our wash away. Hmm, the Wandering Emperor. Since we tapped Coma, that's fair game for exile. Uh, in response, I could tap down one of their creatures. And I think I will. I'm gonna tap down the Champion of Dusk. Dusk 
Legion Duelist. It's time to do 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 If this gets a plus one plus one counter on it, I'll draw a card. Do you attack? You're on, you only got eight life. I've got a boat. And you know I've got a boat. Get a land. This guy, we could also do the hall. Holla holla. One, two, three. Now I should keep holding up the, the wash away. I feel like it's the right move. Made me think of the value. You know you wanna. You know you want it. No, you'll die if you do that. Don't do it, Amy. I really want to do it. Like Kodama. Yes. Boat. Faces the place. Constantly. I know. They'll have lethal and snipe my critters. So I'll let them use snack pack. I think Jed Light's Bonkers is a pretty sweet card. How do you block? You have to block at least one. You don't have to go crazy on blocks, though. Yeah, so they're just blocking with the duelist. We've definitely shown, yes, I'm holding wash away. This whole time has been like, yeah, this person has wash away up. They, wow, uh bolted that in. They must have something very one-sided. Good for them. Bad for me. Can't snap to go face. Yes! Uh, anything, right? Oh no, it's a creature or planeswalker? It's creature or planeswalker, sorry. I thought it could go face. It can't. Can't hit battles either. We counter their commander. Okay, what do you have on two mana? Why did you shock this in? Amalia Bedolia! Oh, I love this gal. Hi, Amalia. Yeah. I feel that too. Good game. I think our deck is matching up against Dodzy purely because we're Simic and it thinks that us being Simic is a threat. I promise you, we are not. I am playing Nikensu. There's not that many cards that even have the word explore on them. Half the cards that say explore aren't exploring. It's just the name of the card is like a person who explores. But that's all right. We'll do our best. Dodzy is big rampant spells able to loop and oftentimes engaging in uh, some shenaniganery putting all the lands in your deck into your hand and then putting them into play throwing this out i've, I've seen a lot of uh pretty scary stuff happen with this deck uh right now i don't have uh any explore other than jade light spelunker boop, boop. we're gonna go for the jade light uh, sword tooth, I'm gonna throw in the graveyard because right now I want a land, and we found a land! Land in hand means land in play, so we can attack in with our commander in that silly bird that put the power nine into their deck can't. Well, shouldn't block. Here to top, one to bottom. Throw from the ashes, get some a land untapped. You love this bird? I hate this bird. I wish this one would die. Hmm. 
trying to decide if I want to go for a landfall. Holding up the tail's end. Or a bottom to play off the top. Or just repeatable explore, getting it out. I think I'll go for the repeatable explore. This triggers at the start of combat, though. Digger of Sunlight, put it in the graveyard. Nothing I want to become a copy of here. Swing in for six. Reliquary Tower. Oracle. Moldaya. No, nah, don't. Don't you be making a copy of that? Yeah, that's a sublime epiphany. It smells like a sublime epiphany. And it was a sublime epiphany. Ever so sublime. Now they have even more of the Power Nine in their deck. <gasps> the Schooner! Get out of here. I'll attack with the Echo. Echo effect! Bring them to ten! Yeah, it, it felt like an epiphany. They have seven mana off just their lands right now. Oracle of the Alpha swings in, but just one of them swings in. Trying things to the bottom. They have five cards in Graveyard. Relevant for Search for his Kanta. I'll lead with the Augur of Autumn. I don't think that Nick Ansel is going to get much value here. Ottawara. I am going to protect my Deep Fathom Echo with Gaia's Gift. Do you have a land on top of the deck? We go to combat. Explore. Um, no, you're already bigger than everything else I've got, so I'm going to swing in with the Deep Fathom Echo. And I'm going to hope that they don't just win the game this next turn, because I think that it is possible, just because Jatsy can kind of go crazy. They also might take, like, three extra turns in a row. I don't know how you go. I know how you are. I think the big thing that makes this, like, so enableable for going wild uh, at this, like, point in the game is that this puts lands in untapped. All right, so they just went for a Hydroid Crisis. That is great for me uh, because it means I could just, like, scooch it out of the way and potentially swing in for lethal here. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's anything bigger or better I'd want you to turn into. It's like turning you into coma is more damage. Bring this in. Get a treasure. Go to combat. Get the land. Uh, don't become a copy of anything. Decline. Put the land into play. Get ourselves another treasure. Attack in with the Deep Fathom Echo. And boop the Hydroid Crisis back into hand. Zoop. Force a wee chump and block. I guess I could have also done that, but they also would have gotten blocked. Consuming Tide is going to bounce everything. Except for one. Let's keep out the Deep Fathom Echo. Uh, everything else in hand. I keep out our best and biggest thing. The Conic Rift. Oh, look. You must have just drawn that. I don't have that much haste, but we do have... Um, we do have one haste enabler in this deck. We have boots. You know, with the fur. up I'm coma all right 
So, uh, Ulamog, we are going to counter Ulamog's ability, though not Ulamog himself. So yeah, they've got 10-10 indestructible, mills 20 when it attacks. But I can tap you down. <laughs> we win! Good game. Slightly less chaotic evil laughter. The Scarab God. Able to reanimate creatures as 4-4 four, four zombies from either player's graveyard. And it's very hard to kill this card. Very, very hard to kill this card. Scarab God is... Well, if it dies, it goes right back into your hand. So you're either always paying 5 mana for it, or you're finding some other way to bring it back. I'll keep this hand. Going for probably a turn to explore to try and find another land. If we don't get one, we did get one, so that's good. So now I could probably go for uh, Nikonzil into the scout. I'm really hoping this is a zombies commander, though. So, like, Scarab God is my zombies commander, too. If this is Demir control, like, we're, uh... This is not, this is not an appropriate matchup. <laughs> I'll bring out Kami of Whispered Hopes. This is a scales effect that can also tap for loads of mana. And it stacks up with the Ozolith, so we can use it to make even more mana. Kaito, going to see that a creature attack to draw a card, don't have to discard. It's worse. Okay, so this is just Demir Control. Bro, this is Nikanzil. These commanders are not equal. But that's okay, because we're still awesome. And I'm still gonna make it through. Ready? Bam! It scaled! That taps for four mana now. That's good for us. Uh, do I wanna go for the explorer or just one of these guys? Go for the provisioner. If our stuff can stay alive long enough, maybe we can hoof. Hoof wins games? If not, kill or counter spell. Hmm, huh, they ate my Kami. I needed that to cast Crater Hoof Behemoth. I needed that for my Crater Hoof Behemoth. Oh, okay. It's fine. Carlos Tracker. Forest. Make some tokens. A little bit of extra treasure. River Herald Scout found. Not a land. Can destroy that. Can also double explore. Is this what I crave? No. Pass the turn. Shoulders are gonna keep draining us. Infernal Grasp. They're gonna lose two life. They're gonna take away my treasure maker. Here comes the Scarab God. They can reanimate these things. If that's something they wanna do. For only four mana, too. We draw. It hurts. Play a land. Ring out Rishkar. Get beefy. combat. I'm going to swing at Kaito. Okay, do you want to bring back Risco? Because I'm pretty chill with that. They bring back Risco. That gives them four... Five mana. Still sitting back here. Cruelty of Gix. Chapter one. So bad news, we kinda we kinda needed that. We kinda we kinda needed that. Hey. <laughs> I did my best! 
I tried. Leave me alone, children. No, no, no. I don't care. I'm drawing cards. I don't have a four runners in this deck. I have a boat. You guys like boats, right? Disco path. Ozolith. A call for violence. Ozolith and double Ozolith. Check out this. Oh! Kill me. If this person, by the way, doesn't just attack me with everything and tries to, like, go for clock stuff. Be a little, little fussy. Hey, get the tutor. Are you gonna cast this value tutor? Ooh, no. You see, I was gonna let you kill me, but now you're just taking too long. Could have just, like, reanimated Hoof. That's one click. Not interested. Pentlaza, son favored. Pentlaza is the new dinosaur's commander, who's really dang good. Uh, on entering the battlefield or another dinosaur entering the battlefield, you discover, based on those dinos, toughness, which means this is a booty deck, but it's a booty dino deck. Really, it's just a dino deck. This only happens once per turn, though, so either you gotta find some flash dinosaurs or you just gotta go with the value you get because there's a lot of it. Speaking of value, I got an explorer in my hand, and that makes me very happy. We're going to start with this fabled passage to get blue, though, or I can't actually cast it. Because our commander is new, we're going to be matching all over the place. That's just how we roll. Nikonzil! Also, we have one of my favorite new cards. I still think they could have printed this as a rare in the set, and I would have 100% accepted it. This is such a sweet card. Um, let's go ahead and use it. We're gonna start with the uh, twists and turns. Twists and turns, so Negan Zil can explore. We're gonna see this land. We're gonna scry to it, because this gives us a scry. That means I can put an extra land into play. Comes in tapped. We're going to explore again. I could have also held negate, because they probably will be ramping next turn, but it might be creature-based ramp. I don't know. Lotus Cobra. I like a Lotus Cobra. Keep it on top. Kaboom. They didn't get another land. We had a really good start, though, so I'm keeping it in the video. I did the thing. I used Explore cards. Alenda the Dusk Rose. Alenda the Dusk Rose is a vampire who dies and becomes more vampires. She gets bigger and bigger the more that creatures die, either under my control or their control. And she has lifelink, which means that she can kind of build up herself in a Voltron style, sacrificing things along the way, killing things along the way, and then eventually turning into a big buttload of vampires. Behold, a two mana, two, three. Yeah, look at those stats. Please don't kill her. Please, I need my fish. Mr. Dungeon Sand, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Sean the Bomb. Cathar's Call, this is going to be spitting out a creature each turn. I don't have a way to destroy it. They know they're up against Simic, and Simic's just not that good at that. I'm going to bring down Nissa. So Nissa is going to be one of our landfall, hopefully getting us extra mana engines as we start exploring. Hi, Alenda. Gonna be throwing those humans at me? Nope, just getting more and more. Use that. Load some mana. 
River Herald Scout does explore, finds the land. We're going to get the breeding pool since that can be brought in tap. I don't have to pay the extra life. Oh, Oracle of Moldiah lets me play additional lands. That's great. Also lands off the top of my deck. Lodestone Needle. I'll just tap down Alenda so I have this out. Oh, you enjoy my Mama Goose Commander deck? Nice. I do like the Goose Mama. Goose Mama's in this deck too, because she's fun and new. Dramatic finale! Makes their creatures bigger. Specifically their tokens. I'll block one of those, two of those, which will result in Alenda getting bigger. If a non-token dies, by the way, they'll get tokens. I could go for Coma here. Uh, I think alternately it wouldn't be terrible to do Beast Whisper and holding up Negate in case there's a board wipe. I might be able to also just hold up Negate. Um, playing the second land here. Nissa finds me something. Oh, Nissa finds me a Titan of Industry. I'm able to hold up the Negate off the second landfall. So we're going to bring out Coma. Coma can make itself indestructible. We have a tireless provisioner on top of the deck. That's more landfall value. Once I get an artifact, I can uh, get rid of it, turn it into something else. Ooh, nice! Mondrak's going to say one token. No! Two tokens! He'll make two a turn. Two pans like a Sam's. We want to bring out the Tireless Provisioner first before we go wild on landfall. So we can bank up that mana. Hopefully we find some more explore. <laughs> Crack this open. Nissa is gonna find us the next elf or elemental in our deck. Our next elf elemental. Also shuffles our cards, so we might find another land on top. There's a land on top, but it's about to go away. As we find Evolution Sage. We currently have no counters on our creatures. But I have treasures, so I can transform the Lodestone Needle. Uh, because we know there's not a, a not a land on top of our deck. Uh, I am instead going to go for Titan of Industry. And I kind of want to hit either the Cathar's Call or this. I'm going to go for a Shield Counter. I'm destroying the Call. Call is coming from inside the house. And the shield counter is going to go on the Titan. Nice big boy. Maybe you proliferate that later. Hi, Mondrak. I'm gonna sacrifice some of these. Our, our negate here, I think, is going to be key because right now they are very well set up to wipe the board. Pop Alenda! and make a lot of little critters. Scootle boot. Since we have two of the landfall mana makers, I'll, I'll say we're getting close to going wild. Getting close to going wild. Looking forward to it. The Shambhalan Ghost. Oh, how it shambles. If they attack, and I won't block since we put the shield on the Titan of Industry. It's also not that much damage. I'll block the adversary. Toss coma in the way. Again, we have this negate. It's big. Another birdie. Tweet, tweet. Two birdies. Sorry, Mondrak does Mondrak things. My turn. Okay. I'm making tokens too. 
Ooh. I see you on top of my deck. And I would like to have you. All of our landfall mana makers. Upon casting this, we will get this in hand. When it enters the battlefield, it will explore. I'll still put that into play. We do have a mana sink in our deck that can explore repeatedly, but we'd have to find it. Upon casting this, we will draw a card. Got the Kami of Bamboo Groves. It can turn into creatures, or it can turn into lands, but it is not lands. We'll draw it. Still looking for lands. Probably going to uh, channel this right now. Another explorer. It actually makes a map. Oh, look at that. It's our first counter. Other than the shield counter. Uh, I'm going to channel this. We can get another landfall so we can trigger Nissa's ability. Find the next elf or elemental in our deck. Treasure. Green. Wild Growth Walker School. Blue. Still, not what I'm looking for on top of the deck. We will cast this. Yeah, they're just like, uh, that's what they're doing. Huh. Hoof would be good. I do want a Crater Hoof Behemoth. I don't want to explore because I don't want them to know that's what I have on top. I'll play Ozolith. Activate Ozolith. Make my... Make my Oracle a little bit more protected. Get still just holding this negate. That's the big thing. Pass the turn all the way through. Oh yeah, they already know it's on top. Hey. Right. I forgot that that was revealed. Yeah, no, it's it's totally revealed. You see, there's a little eyeball. What's up? Do you have a way to mill me? How many things are you going to sacrifice here? I feel like it's a lot. Alenda's just the goodie bag out here. Oh, we love that for her. Wandering Emperor. She can exile tapped creature yeah. or more likely make two samurai tokens. No, they are beefing up Alenda. I'm about to tap that girl down. Hey. Stop it. Now you can't attack and gain a bunch of life. What do you got? Mm-hmm. What do you got? Getting a little life. Sure, I will block with Nikanzu and Fish. They didn't attack with these Inklings. Go to damage. Blender grows. Do you want to sacrifice her? Is this an explore deck? Sure is. Uh, giant killer. Hmm. I don't think I need the negate anymore. 
We already know everything they have, and it's popping open Alenda to make a whole bunch of little dudes. Pop, pop. My turn! I'm going to first go ahead and tap down Mondrak. This is my way of saying, okay, listen. Sacrifice her now. Hmm. All right, hoof. Hoof does hoof things. Not gonna bother with anything else. Just swinging for damage. It's a number. It's some amount of damage. Couple hundred. Two or four. Hundred. Yeah, well, they don't want to know either. It's like five. It's like five damage. Probably lethal. Good game. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Brawl Stars. As always, if you'd like to catch me live, I'm over at twitch.tv slash Amazonian almost every single day streaming Magic the Gathering Arena. And if you liked Nick Enzale, let me know in the comments. And if you hated this deck, please don't tell me. I mean, I know that like any engagement is good engagement according to the algorithm, but I only want to hear people be like, dang, that's a good fish, even if she's not that good, because she's not that good good. If you're looking for the deck list, it is in the description of the video, and I hope my fellow explorers out there will make good use of it. Thank you so much for watching, and have a brutal day.